Hello everybody, presented here, back in Necrodancer. Whoop. Almost missed the daily challenge square, but I got it, and good news is I won't have to purchase the Shrine of Space from the Shrine Porter that's the Shrine Portal that's bound to be on this floor, and a nice level one torch in terms of like the light value that it gives me is a pretty good start. It lets me uh, kind of circle around the corners and see if there's any potential secret rooms. And we just uh, do what we normally do. It's actually a pretty big open room, but oops, I accidentally uh, messed that slime's day up. I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't paying attention to him. I was just, my eyes were set on the gold. Okay, let's make sure we don't get any any damages from the traps. So many times it's happened where I don't see a trap and then an enemy gets bounced right into me and that I don't like that. Uh, I mean the Everything but the dagger looks good, but I don't know if I want to actually do that. I want to try to get him to come that way, kind of. I wanted to knock him up this way. I, I think I wasted time, though, so whatever. Let's go in here see if there's any shrine I want. Not really, so whatever. Alright, we're probably going to find a minotaur on this floor. Let's see. Okay, no, it was a dragon. I, I probably could have told... Uh, I, I probably knew that it was going to be a dragon just because the Minotaur typically aggros early in the level and the dragon sort of stays behind. He waits for his sneak attack when you open the door to insta-kill you on the next beat. Because that's just how this game likes to play sometimes there's a potion in here all right that's gonna help me out a lot e I wanted that to be three bombs so that I could get to the shop but or get to the the shop and kill the shopkeeper so if I'm not mistaken there is not going to be a a blood shop on this floor a rapier is really good right now good upgrade from the dagger but I'm gonna be looking to switch it up soon with a golden weapon but yeah no the rapier is very very nice probably my favorite weapon okay I need to there we go all right I need either a dragon or an extra bomb, which probably could make a good case to, for me to not pick picking up the gold, but there isn't even a dragon, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, come on. There we go, okay. And that's, is that the floor? No, no, no there's one more because of the one more room because of the Shrine of Space. I typically don't clear the floors this quickly, so I got I was a little suspicious. But yeah, there seems to not be a way to kill the shopkeeper on this floor, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And I'm pretty sure there wasn't a golden weapon. If I just missed the golden weapon store, then that is completely my fault, but I'm pretty sure it's on the third floor, so I feel confident in leaving the second floor. So now I can make a case for leaving the gold. Since I'm gonna try to come and pick it, to pick back up. Pick it back up later. I can pick it up right now actually. Let me see which here's the shop. Whoa! A little antsy in the panty. 
There we go. I hope that's not more than 50 gold, otherwise the leprechaun's gonna ruin my day. I'm gonna kill him now just because... I'm gonna be able to um, get get into the golden shop anyway with my obsidian shovel. So, um, I want that bat to kind of line himself up. Oh, I, I messed that one up, but that's okay. Come on, go up, 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 please. You bastard. I messed that one up. Something fierce. Oh, God, this... There we go. Oh, my God. That was s sketchy to the max. There we go. Okay, now let's start picking up the gold. Make a little path for us. Oh, the lead boots actually protected us from moving, which I forgot. Okay, that is sketchy but oh my god I just want to get to that blood shop please okay one enemy at a time crossbow that is very very unsafe let's go in here because I'm pretty sure the boss isn't here or the mini boss but oops didn't mean they mean to do that. They mean to kill them. Am I? That's a down. Oh, the. Oh, God. The lead boots threw me off. Okay, the war drum is amazing, so. I feel justified in. Eating the cheese, even though I didn't really heal all the way. I should really get to the boss. The mini boss. But I'm a sucker for gold. I'm pretty sure I can get to the mini boss from here anyway. Okay, let's forget about the gold. Oh, my God. Just. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have it charged. There we go. There we go. Just come up. And that's all I care about, so... Am I protected from... The... Spike traps with lead boots? I want to say that I am. That bat is the reason why I didn't get that gold, but whatever. We're fighting Deep Blues, he's an easy boss. Especially with the crossbow. Okay, let's just kind of focus. I have to um, put a little bit of effort into into uh, thinking about how many bolts I have. That was easy enough, and I guess I should open up the armor. The weapon chest, just to see if there's armor. Oh god, that is... Mm. Game, you tempt me so, but I can't. I have to be true to my high score self. And Okay, let's... Oh, what the heck was that? I didn't even... I wasn't paying attention. Did I... Was there a mushroom behind the box, and so I hit it? I was looking at the mushroom beside me, and then I noticed that I just destroyed the box. Okay. Okay, I don't have a charge. There we go. Alright, with Shrine of Space, it's going to be a little bit difficult to finish the floors. And with the War Drum, I don't really see a use on taking the apple with me. All I have is one bomb, but that's okay. Wait, are there any exploding mushrooms? Alright, let's go over here then. Make sure to reload. I'll go all the way around. I wanted to cut through the wall, but there's gold here, so I'm gonna go all the way around. And this could be good. And it's, I mean, food is actually really nice, but I like the war drum too much. Let's make sure that we don't get caught up on a Attacking if you want to move because that is something the crossbow Has a hard like a has like a reputation of doing at least for me Okay. All right also have to keep track of how many bolts you have What are we finding? Oh, it's a nightmare. Okay, it's um a weakling one as well A weakling one as well. 
I don't know, that doesn't sound right, but whatever. Yeah, I can pierce. Oh, I cannot pierce through into the mimic. Okay, that was interesting. I guess they changed how that works. You typically, or you used to be able to pierce through mimics and ghosts. But I guess you can't anymore. Come on. Oh my god. I know... Uh, the game's giving me a sign. It's like, dude, you're gonna need this. So take it. But then I don't take it because the war drum, but... I've gotten so much food. But I can't use it, or I don't want to use it because... I have the... Because I have the war drum. Oop, here we go. Alright, Sludge Monster. Now nah, we're good. Okay. I shouldn't have gone here, though, because it's the exit. But I feel I feel okay in doing it, because I killed the mini-boss already, so... Alright. The song's actually almost over. And I got a lot more bombs that I'll use on the next floor. I don't have the time to really waste to use it on this floor. Since the the walls give you as much gold no matter where you use them. I might as well wait. Okay, I can't really. Oh, didn't mean for that to happen. I want that mimic. There we go. Shrine of No Return is not tempting in the least. Because I'm not good with it. I mean, what's the better? The fireball torch or the the, like, the insight torch? And I think that's the last of this floor, okay. Alright. That actually wasn't too bad. This floor was a little bit smaller than I imagined it would be with Shrine of Rhythm, but... Or sh Shrine of Space, yeah. I don't know why I said Shrine of Rhythm. But yeah. The floor was a little bit smaller than I anticipated, so... Oh dang, I... Thought the shopkeeper was a little bit closer that I could hit him, but I couldn't. I could have ended badly for poor old me, but I got out of it. Is that another nightmare? I think it's another nightmare. Yeah, it is. Okay. No worries. That was pretty damn easy. I think the nightmare can break through gold, which you can use to your advantage break open that. Okay, another... <laughs> Let's just not talk about how much food this game is giving me, because I want to play it off as coincidence, but, you know, it could be telling me something. It could be, dude, you're gonna need this later? Trust me, I got your back. Okay, I'm gonna just kill these guys one at a time. Oh, dang. Okay, there we go. Armor. Okay, that's kind of the opposite, I, I think, the last weapon. I mean, it's like you can't get hit at all, and if you do, you're kind of screwed. So, in a way, I guess it's different than armor. I really don't want to test. That's a food shop. I'll see what it has in it, just to see. Um, I'll take this, and you know what? I'm gonna test this. Okay. So we learned something. Spike traps do not work if you have lead boots. And I was... I was... Oh, what's the word? I was... Like, I knew I... I knew even if it did hit me, I... I wouldn't have gotten killed. And I have an apple here to heal some of the damage off. Did I? Yes, okay. I killed the boss, so I'm not really worried about running the clock over. I want to kill that bat. There we go. 
Oh, I did not. <laughs> I meant to reload and I just kind of moved up. I was like, what? What's happening? Okay. Yeah, I knew that was happening. The speed up really screwed with me. Alright. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get to the end. Yeah. Let's just accept it. Alright, it's Coral Riff. I shouldn't... I shouldn't have too much trouble if I just... Stick... To not... Okay, that would have been horrible if I got hit. Okay. Alright, there we go. That was pretty easy. Oh no, I messed up. That was not good. That was not good. Now I'm not going to get all the gold, but... At least I didn't get hit, right? That was my bad, though. I... I think I tried to... I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to the mistakes, because I was... <laughs> trying to line myself up just right. Okay, let's... Let's just forget about it. We... Did do 100%, but at least... It wasn't on the final boss. Where getting a high score, or like, getting perfect actually matters? Okay. And all in all, I, I'm just glad I made it to zone 3, so... Oh my god, lead boots! I keep... Forgetting. But... Weirdly enough, lead boots do not protect you from heat. Because I think lead has like a... Actually, it kind of makes sense. I was going to say, Lud has like a high melting point, but it's like, I mean, that won't stop it from getting hot, you know? Okay. Let's make sure that Yeti doesn't get up all in our junk. Okay, that was not good, but that's okay because... I am still alive. Ice cannot affect me. I don't know how um Shrine of Space works on Zone 3. I guess it just makes the layout bigger. Because uh, Zone 3 itself is pretty open. So I'd have to say that... Oh, I still have a potion, actually. So I'd have to say that, like... With Shrine of Space, all it does is it just makes it bigger. Which is pretty cool, I think, I guess, if it works that way. I'm not sure if it does. But I have to assume it is, because I don't have any reason not to believe it. We used all our bombs there. Let's reload just to keep track of how many bolts we have. And I got that double, or that extra heart container, which is pretty good. And there's a, like a transmutation shop or something or another right there. Okay. Okay. God damn it, that spawned in the perfect goddamn spot. Whatever. I ain't even mad. That is a glass shop. That is <laughs> probably one of the worst ones I can get right now. I don't know if I'll make it back before the song ends, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm pretty sure I'll make it. Yeah, I'll make it. Okay. No enemies in sight. Can I pierce? Okay, I still can't pierce. I don't know if that's a bug. Okay, I had to watch. Oh my god, be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I reloaded instead of attack. That was completely my fault, but come on. This isn't a food shop, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that sucks that it isn't food. Oh, Frost Charm. I mean, I don't need food right now because I'm actually full, but frost charm actually helps out a ton i can get that i mean i'll get that later if i must but the i'm telling you oh yeah it pierces which is cool oh my god i hate everything <laughs> this uh i'm angry wait how did i do two damage oh was that um is that, um... Um... War Drum, I think, is what did that. I'm, I can't think right now. I'm just like... I'm 
just angry because I keep hitting stuff when I mean to move and I... It screws me out. It screws me out. See, I, I'm telling you, I can't think. I'm, I'm saying stuff that doesn't even, like, form words. But it just messes me up. Is what I really wanted to say. I don't know where I got that from. Out of screw out. Okay. Out of... Gotta focus. Okay, I can't really open it from the side that it gave me. There we go. Oh, I didn't have uh, any bolts loaded. There we go. The, sh the um, I'm pretty sure the song's almost over anyway. All right, cool. And now the question is, do I give up War Drum? for meat. And in this case, I'm pretty sure I have to. So I'm going to do that. Bye bye, Wardrum. You were very useful and I love you. I'm sorry, but I'm just too scared that I'll screw it up. Okay, I didn't even have bolts. Dang, dude. I am... I'm just getting a little bit lucky. I'm gonna admit it. The run... The, um... The game saved me a lot of times. Okay, let's go in here. I think this is an arena. Let's see. No, that's not an arena. That's where I can... I think that's where I can sell things. I might... <laughs> I understand I might be like... I don't know, like, one run I'm like, Oh, I think this is where you, like, sell stuff. And then the next one I'm like, I'm pretty... Oh, did you... Oh, man. I thought I had enough... I saw the bolt that I had, and I was like, oh, okay, so I got him, but... Uh, the bolt that I had was spent whenever I knocked him off of his horse. Let's um, kind of walk away from this. Reload. I don't... I don't have Wardrum, <laughs> so I just ate the meat. But I think that might have been useful. Uh, I think I might have died on a lot of enemy attacks. Come on. So you know what? I'm going to say that I meant to do that. Let's just... I can't... Uh. Oh my god, I... Mm, I hate the fact that beetles... Oh, the Nightbird can... Break through gold, which I could probably have used to my advantage, but beetles were... Annoying. Let's go up here. Reload, just not hit this. And I pierce through the shrieks, which isn't which is good. Great. I want to say great and I said good, so it said <laughs> came out a little weird. I'm sorry about that. But you gotta admit This run takes a lot of brain power. Come on. There we go. Oh well, okay. <laughs> Armor. Oh, okay. You know what? I, f I realized that um, the end goal doesn't matter if you have a gold weapon. Like, you don't get more or less. So I can kill the final boss with, with an obsidian weapon. Or like a weapon that's better than the crossbow. Which in this case, the obsidian longsword is. So I feel a little bit more comfortable in... You know oh, Okay, whatever. I'm just going to go... <laughs> As King Kong, I'm actually kind of glad that it was him instead of Death Metal. Okay. That guy got a little bit too close for comfort. I can just sort of do this now. I really want... I really want... To get Flawless. Thank you. Oh, that was a decent run. I made a, a good amount of mistakes, but that was a... A decent end score. Let's see how I did. Let's see. Okay, I didn't do bad. I got 10th place. That's pretty good. The discrepancy, though, is so large. Like, I... I checked uh, frequently on my score that I got yesterday. And my score was always uh, first place. And I really thought that, that, that my score would have gotten overtaken at least by one person, since people typically get, you know, a few thousand 
more gold than I do, which, in, as you can see, in this case, it's it's true. You know, it's the first place got about 2,000 more gold than I do, which is crazy, by the way. I didn't think I did that bad, but I guess he might have uh, used, like, the transmutation to get, like, a gold weapon or a gold ring. And then he also could have done some funky stuff with um, that obsidian shovel. Maybe he got the scroll of gigantism and destroyed an entire shop or, you know. All that sort of speculation, I can go back and I can watch his run if I want to see what he did, but I am pretty content with the score that I made, and so I'm probably not really going to look. I'm just going to be like, you know what, 10th place is good. I made a few mistakes, and I'll learn from them, and I'll get better as a result in the next run. And so, that is the end of that run, and if you enjoyed it, then please show your appreciation by clicking the like button, as that helps me out a lot, and if you want to keep updated on the videos that I'm currently making, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. And all, with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time.